Good morning. Good morning, guys. It is early and seminar are headed down to do chores. It's actually not as early as I thought it was going to be. All right, got the trusted steeds with us. Hello, Penny. Oh, you got stuff on your nose. You've been sleeping? Come, oh my gosh, all over your eyes, but your eyes look better. Good morning, Gracie. Where's Willow? Uh-oh. Oh, there's that nose. Clear Sam talks more to the horses than he does to me. I hear him in there. I heard him in there. Talking away. Talking away, being kind to them. i show you my morning routine with Miss Penny Poo. I have her tea bags for her eyes and her omeprazole. I'm gonna explain it all. First, I'm gonna give her omeprazole. I'm gonna put a halter on her though. She does great with it. So one thing she does when I first come in in the morning is she backs away from me. She's like, oh no, I swear it's because she has a belly ache. Because whenever I walk towards her belly, she does get antsy. Like she doesn't get antsy because she's a calm girl. She, look it, look it. Girls learning to come to mama. Good girl, I always wanna clean this. So her eye, 50% better than yesterday. So basically I wanted to show you guys what happens when I put the halter on her. If you see, <laughs> see what she does? I can almost do it with one hand because she just shoves her little face in there. Yes, your food's coming, Willow. Daddy's bringing it to you. All right, so yeah, she does that. And I'm gonna give her the omeprazole. Look at both eyes much better. I know. You don't really love it, huh? Wait. Okay. Here we go. You can smell it. You know, it's going to have to happen. It has to happen. She's like, I don't like that stuff. You always do it to me. Two times a day. Oh, good girl. Okay, so she has to let that set for a little while before she can eat. So then, I take my nice warm tea bags. So the thing about tea bags, when people suggested it to me, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And the reason is, is because whenever I've had pink eye in the past, I have the only soothing thing that ever soothed me and made my eyes feel better was tea bags. So, come here, sweet girl. Listen, don't be shy now. Don't be shy now. We got to do this. I want to show you guys. Can you video me this? I want to show you guys what she does when I put the tea on her eyes. It's just the tea. Remember? I use it on your eyes. She knew. She's such a smart girl, but she actually seems to really enjoy it. And when I had pink eye, an infection in my eye, tea is the only thing that took away the pain and the, the burn. So I'm barely holding her here, but she loves it. And I know you're supposed to rub it out. Yeah, just a little bit on there, rub it, yeah. It feels so good, doesn't it, Penny? It feels, yeah, she's saying yes. It feels so good. Yes. All right. Let's do the other one. I have another clean, fresh tea bag. Nice and warm. Let's see if you want to smell it again. Okay. Yes. There you go. Literally, she just loves this. So because she loves it so much, it makes me realize, like, it must be making her feel better. I only did it one time yesterday, and she... Her eyes stick good the whole day, a little bit gumpy at night. So today I'll do it at morning and at night. Yeah, I just like to do it as long as she wants me to because it definitely feels good. I mean, how many horses go to a brand new home and then let you just stand here videoing them, getting their eye cleaned? Like, she just loves it. And now, the hard part is that she has to wait. She has to wait. So the lady that we bought her from, she got her from down in the States. I forget where she got her. Anyway, she thinks that she's been a little bit mishandled in the past because she is a bit head shy. Not really, like, as you can see, she's not super head shy. Like, this is a horse I didn't think would be affectionate. <laughs> um, but, like, Sophie put her food down last night and she whipped her head around because Sophie moved and she was afraid Sophie was going to smack her. So she knows that, like she obviously has felt that before, but I feel like she knows that I'm not going to smack her. Do you know I would not smack you? Yeah, she said yes. <laughs> she knows it. So last night we came down, every time I come down here, I leave like all riled up, like whoa! So last night I came down and I brought her in, did some work with her, because I have 20 minutes to wait after I give her the medicine so that... Um, before I can feed it, right? So last night, so last night I came in, did everything with her, 
and I picked her feet again. So literally before I even got to the, like, so I picked the front foot and by the time I even was halfway to the back foot, she had it lifted for me. Like that's how amazing she is. I feel like she's the kind of horse that trusts you until you break your, your promise to her. I feel like that. I feel like she trusts you until she doesn't trust you anymore. And I feel like she trusts me. Sophie walked her down yesterday and she was kind of fussy with Sophie. And then maybe I should walk her around for 20 minutes. Do you want to go for a little walk for 20 minutes? She said yes. Do you see that, you guys? The girl talks. Yes. Do you want to do that? Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. For a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan And the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me was me working with her, walking with her before she had her breakfast, before she had her grain, and with her hay in plain sight. And so I learned two things. One, I can handle her at her worst so far, which I already knew. And two, not to try anything when she's at a moment like that, because every time you do stuff with a horse, it's a training opportunity. Like, everybody tells me so many things, but none of it has been relevant to my life until now so like it all is sinking in like it never has before like it took me three years before it to all sink in so walked her right back into her stall when it was time for her grain and she did perfect like love my mare you guys oh well she has her breakfast um i'm just gonna tell you guys that today i'm gonna try and ride her i'm gonna try and ride her on the in the indoor just i had a walk i don't want to stress her like i told you guys she has a couple issues the girthiness and the girthiness, the eye gunk, and the bit. Those are the three issues. <laughs> kind of kind of tricky issues, especially the bit. So today, I'm going to try her bitless. And so many people said, Laura, don't do it, don't do it. I'm going to be in this room. I'm hopefully going to be in a safe environment. I'm going to have my family with me. I am, and I'm going to do it. I like, I'm not putting Gabby up there, even though Gabby would do it for me. But she's going to be here, and she's going to guide me. But all I'm going to do is try and walk a little on her. I'm going to work on her with the saddle because I don't know if she had bad experiences with the saddle, which the lady did say, you know, she's had some experiences she feels in the past. Um, I don't know what, if it's that she has ulcers. I feel like it's that she has ulcers and I'm going to show her. Fiona taught me a way that I can show her that every time you get tacked up doesn't have to mean pain so i'm gonna go gentle go slow i'm gonna do all the things you guys and i'm gonna try and ride this girl in the arena today yeah and then i'm gonna go to sophie's birthday party and i'm gonna do like a million things for work and i'm gonna do a million things for sophie's birthday party like i have to get cupcakes like it's gonna be a crazy gong show day sam's like i do this way faster when you're not here right <laughs> i like to take my time okay so you're finished is that what you're trying to tell me so I'm gonna take you back for your hay, but you have to be good. All right, well, let's go, princess. She licks her bowl clean. She doesn't, she doesn't try and charge the gate. Hold on, I'm doing it with my left hand. Oh, hold on, we have to go slow. Slow family. We are the slow family. There we go. Good girl. Do a turnaround and I'll take this off. Alright, so she comes in here. 
She knows exactly what to expect. We walked in, she does a little twirl. I take off her halter and then she pins her ears as far back as she can and runs to the mares. She's like, you are not the boss of this place. So yeah, it's true. She fought them all day yesterday. Fought them, fought them all day. We could hear the squeals from up at the house. Willow be like, you're not taking over my territory. And she's like, this is my territory now. I'm in with the owner. I'm in good with the owner. <laughs> All right, so Sophia, something she wants to show you. So last night I made these treats for Daisy. They are water. I put them into a mold and they have apple in them. So it's ice. She made icicle treats for Daisy. With apple in them. With little apples Daisy. in them. Let's see if she likes it. Paw, paw. Good girl. Good girl. You can never see because they get them, they get, oh, she likes it. She, she plays with it till it melts a little bit and then it's small enough for her to chew it. Oh, good job, Sophie. One of our videos got picked up by an ad agency and it's happened before to us. Um, and basically what happens is that they offer to like, they ask you if they can take a video of yours and promote it to like TV companies and like Ellen and like a bunch of different things. And, oh. Guess what video they asked if they could promote for us? I don't know. It's Sophie's video of her getting her new puppy. See? That's what I want to tell you guys. Like, success happens when you act yourself. Like, she cried on camera. Like, she let her emotions go and she just cried and cried when we surprised her with a puppy. And now an ad agency wants to take that video and put it around and show all their clients to see if anybody will use it and we'll get paid for it. We'll get 60% of whatever they make. So we'll get more than them. Yeah, we'll get more. They'll get 40%. Yeah. So um, it's happened to us before. It doesn't mean that they're going to actually take, anybody's actually going to buy the video or buy any of the rights to the video, but there's a chance that it could happen. And I just want you guys to know that it is in being yourself that great things happen. If you're not yourself, great things can't happen. And if you're being yourself and you want something so, so bad and it's just not happening, it's just not meant for you. And I don't know how to explain it any anymore. Like if I went to go visit Penny and Penny's owner was a totally different person. She's so much like me, that lady, so yeah, kind. No. So listens to, she told me 10 times before I left with Penny, just listen to her. She'll tell you. And I believe that too. Like, but if she is some, but it, she could have been a completely different owner. And as you probably wouldn't even sell Penny to me because we didn't mesh. Do you know what I mean? Like be yourself and all the heavens will open and give you exactly what you need in life. So just be yourself and all the right things that are meant for you will fall into place. We still need to give away our blue Bay Boutique. Did you guys follow her on Instagram? I'm gonna go and see if oh, anybody followed her. She's an amazing girl. This is some leather balm and a uh, charm for your, for your a bridal charm. Is that what it's called? You know what? I want a bridal charm now. Like Okay, this person. Before we started to give this away, I didn't have a mare and now I have a mare. But anyway, Sophie, just pick the winner. And it is horse underscore girl underscore, underscore Peyton fan. Is that because you love Peyton? You have a friend named oh, Peyton? I read it. Oh. All right. So that's the winner. Let's see. Horse underscore girl underscore Peyton fan. So she is the winner of the Blue Bay Boutique. So I'm going to show you guys today's prize for our giveaway. I think we're on number seven out of ten, I think. It's big for me because we have been working on this for a long time. This has been in the works for a really long time. All right, so the winner of this prize, okay, so this prize um, is going to order it online. This is gonna be sent to somebody online. So if you go to any one of our videos, so I pulled up a video here, let me go back. So if you go to our page, click on a video, scroll down a tiny bit to where it says see more, and then it'll say t-shirts, you're going to click on that link. So this is our store. And every year people say to us like, Laura, I'm asking my parents for your merch for Christmas. And this year we decided to make a Christmas line of merch. We made a Christmas line. We worked with this amazing girl and she helped us to make a Christmas line for you guys. You guys know how competitive we are in our family about our horses. We always do the... We always do the, who loves, does our horse love us challenge? Or we always are like, who, what horse do you love best? And so we have a line of merch 
for each of our horses. Well, each of our main horses. Well, all right, I'm gonna show you. So basically, we have these t-shirts or sweatshirts. You can get them in any kind of shirt that you want, but basically, and any color that you want. So basically, we have a Team Finn shirt, and it says hashtag Team Finn, and it's Sophie and Finn in his gorgeous green saddle pad. We have a Team Storm on a red shirt, but you can get it on any color that you want. We have a Team Chino. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Doesn't he look so gorgeous? And then we have a new Day by Day Vlogs with all of our horses, all five of them together. So we are gonna choose two winners. Actually, the winner, the girl that made these designs for us, she's gonna win a shirt, and then somebody else is going to win a shirt. And what you're gonna be able to do is go to our Teesprings account in our channel on YouTube, and you're gonna be able to pick a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, whatever you want, and it's gonna be whatever team of horses you are on. If you love Sophie and Finn, then pick a Finn shirt. If you love Chino, then pick a Chino shirt. Whatever. If you love all of them, pick a day pick, by day vlog shirt. Pick a day by day vlog. So all these are new. This is a fanny pack. I love it. I want that. Like, isn't that beautiful on the top there? It says, right. On the top there it says day by day vlogs and then it has all five of our horses. Um, obviously we have a six horse that'll have to go between Storm and Gracie. But you can get that. Or you can get a hoodie. This is a hoodie. There are a bunch of different designs. You have to scroll down in our store. We don't know how to work it very well, the store, to make it all be at the top, our new designs. We're gonna work on that today. So go ahead, check out our store, comment what team you're on, and what kind of shirt you wanna win, or if you wanna win the fanny pack, or whatever it is that you want from our, our store. We have face masks, how did I not even know? We have day by day face masks. So there you go, we have face masks, you guys. Two different styles. Anyway, check out our merch and um, comment below what you want to win and we're going to have two winners. This is Julie who made our shirts for us, who made the design for our shirts. Her Instagram is 7 Jarts with a Z. This is it, you guys. Go and show her some love. She's a 15-year-old self-taught person and these are like the kind of things that she makes. If you go and follow her, you'll see Gabby and Chino on her page and you can even commission her to make a logo or whatever you want for yourself. She was amazing for us, so make sure you follow her. She's gonna get a shirt and one other viewer is gonna get a shirt and I'm gonna order it today. Three chocolate cupcakes. Oh, those look good. Those look good. So we went to uh, our specialty thing. Our We went to a designer bakery, you guys, for Sophie's birthday cupcakes. Did you get water? Yeah. Good job. Yeah, leave in it the in car. the car. Cool. Wow. I want that one. Spiders Spider. and Frankenstein. Wow, a lot of chocolate. Hopefully everybody who's coming to your party likes chocolate. It's gonna be the coldest night of the year, I betcha. We're gonna be out there doing crazy things in the cold. She's mad. See that oh, see those ears? You can't see. <laughs> She's got the flat back. She's mad at the ponies. I'm giving her some magnesium before I release her. Before I ever release her, she'll be getting some magnesium. <laughs> she hates them. I know the cats have been everywhere. Sassy. Watch, watch her. She's sassy. Yeah, that's what I don't like. <laughs> Maybe I'll separate them a bit. Like, I've been feeding them all together. She's mad because she doesn't have her own. She said, don't feed her before a ride. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? I'm giving her a little bit. I don't like to ride a horse that's hungry. I don't like to ride a horse that has nothing in their belly. Here, kitty. I mean, here. Uh oh. Aww. She's so pretty. She didn't see that I threw her some hay. I just threw her a little tiny bit so she can eat and then I'm gonna groom her. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ollie. Ollie. Texted me on Snapchat saying, where's Ollie? Ollie's here. Ollie is here. He just, just because you don't see our pets doesn't mean they're not around. I feel like he's been hunting. You feel like he's been hunting? he leaves for a little while and then he comes back. Okay, so essentially, we're gonna have to get her chiropractor too sometimes. Yeah, she's gonna get a chiropractor as soon as the, what? Not her back. No, I know, I think she's good. Like the lady I said. I thought her back was sore because she was moving the saddle all around and she's like, Fuck. I mean, may, I think it was her belly, to be honest. And it was okay for Stella. The Stella was wider. I just wanna make sure we have clearance of her shoulders because they walk differently. You wanna try yours and we'll just see? Try this one. Nope, uh -huh. no, try it. I think she's 
I fits her. There's oh, yeah. clearance there. Yeah, I think so too. I thought I was videoing me tacking her up, but the camera died. How annoying. I wanted you guys to see her reaction. Um, she did much better when I put the saddle on this time. But as I put the girth on, she was snapping her teeth a little, pinning her ears a little, right? Um, but the thing that I learned, see, this is what I have to learn. The thing that I learned is that there was no pulling, no tight, like there was nothing that like I did it. It's, it's not even hardly done up. I just did everything so soft, so gentle that if she had any reaction, I would know if it was from pain or not pain. Like there was no pain there, Penny. There was no pain. You were fooling me. That crazy reaction for nothing. All right, so I've been outnumbered. I've been outnumbered. They, none of them yeah. want me to ride her first. Cause what if she's a crazy psycho pony? Then you die instead of me? No. She's young, she still bounces, you break bones. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to break another bone? All right, so I'm being, I'm being. Do you want to break your neck? Yeah, today's not the day to break anything. But I mean, I want to ride her. I want to be the one to just climb up there, but I'm not going to argue. <laughs> so, but we're going to do it my way. So lucky to be yours. for the ride and it is the snow is coming down <laughs> like I'm nervous like I keep thinking about all the things that are happening that could increase my chances of falling and I don't like it yeah. all right we're headed out to Sophie's birthday party ride I told her that I wanted before I was finished with the Pasofino farm we had so we have had a spring ride we've had a summer ride we've had a yeah. night ride all I want to do is ride one time in the snow so, we did, with Danny the horse girl. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we did ride in the snow, but now we're really gonna be riding in the snow. It's packing snow. It's packing well, snow. Bye bye Chino's gloves. So, the snow sticks in the horse's shoes. So it's a blizzard. This will be my first blizzard ride. Are you guys excited? Are you guys excited to ride in a blizzard? No. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful? 